what is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 19 of my FC Schalke career mode. Before we get into this video, if we could aim to hit over 15 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. It only takes a couple seconds out of your day to hit that like button, I would very much appreciate it. Without further ado, we do get into this episode here and we get prepared for the opening day of the Bundesliga season against Hoffenheim. And their team actually, they were pretty grateful to because we did actually sign Kevin Volland from Hoffenheim. So be interested to see how he does in his debut and we are looking at other players in that Hoffenheim side to side, sign over to the club. Um, one, play, one player being uh, obviously Nicolas Sule, the centre back and obviously um, Sebastian Rudy in uh, midfield. Uh, he obviously starts at number 6, number 25 uh, for their team here. So it'll be interesting to see actually how they do perform today and obviously our former player Gorkan Tour does start against us and it would actually be Hoffenheim that get off to a good start here. Rudy onto the ball, does play it down the wing here to the oncoming Hoffenheim player who crosses it into the box to find Gorkin Tor who gets the first shot on target but Farnham holds on with ease. As Meyer now plays the ball into Leroy Sané. It took a long while to get involved in this game here. Sané gets into the box, get his shot away but Sule does get his body in front of the shot there. Unfortunately we can't get on target. As we do find Batshuayla with the shot again and again Sule is in front of that ball to keep the game at 0-0 and at deadlock. But right into the, the half here, Maya comes forward and he would actually find Leon Grzetska here. Grzetska plays it into Batshuayi. Batshuayi shoots from range just wide of the mark there. And, you know, that's what he's got to do. We are getting nowhere near that Hoffenheim goal yet. And uh, the defenders have just been absolutely on point. We need to make, make sure we're playing better football in the second half here. Or we could have a ball draw opening day of the season. As you can see here though, Volland does get the ball off his former teammate. Cross it into the box to try and find Maya. But Bauman makes an incredible save there. But from a resulting attack, Kazara comes forward. Our new left back plays it into the path of Johannes Geis here. Geis onto the ball, cuts inside here. Still Johannes Geis, what can he do? Does find Leroy Sané, turns, shoots, back of the net. We lead 1-0 here, courtesy of the left midfielder, Leroy Sané. And this could be his breakout season, even more than last season, where he just leaves all the talent behind and shows why he is not the future, but he is the now. He is the present, and what a goal that is. That proves that he has got the potential to be an awesome player. First goal in the Bundesliga in the first game of the season. He has been our hero, to say the least. Getting on to this second half, though. Volland plays the ball into Maya, into the oncoming Leon Grzetska here. Obviously, recently signed a new contract after some um, referral issues, but... Um, we do miss that attack there. But here comes Eduardo Vargas. A player I actually do admire very well as the ball comes into Gorkin Tour. Great chance from Howard Esther. Had to show that. That is brilliant defending. As we do bring on Timo Werner, Emre Chan, And I do believe Marcus Asensio does come onto the pitch. As you can see here, it looks to make something work here. Fabian Schaal lays the ball off to Polanski. Great ball in, but Farnham does hold on with five minutes left to go in this game. It would be how the game finishes. Very good performance there from the team. Opening day of the season, we get three points. Nothing better than that. I'm absolutely happy and over the moon with that win. As you can see here, we dominated the game. We deserved to beat Hoffenheim, but the defence was absolutely watertight. We did not get through uh, for the life of us. From, uh, obviously, the ex exception was that Leroy Sané goal, but my word, what a defence that is from Hoffenheim. And guys, just a friendly reminder, hit that like button. I'd very much appreciate it. Also, as you can see, we do some training here. Julian Brunt, uh, Vigel, Sané, Werner and Ian Nacho. Great training sessions for them. And we do get ready now for some transfer business. Mateo Nasasic is a subject of a £14 million bid from Crystal Palace, which we do reject. We are not interested in selling him yet. We do actually send Marvin Frederick, though, on loan, the 20-year-old uh, centre-back who featured quite predominantly last season when uh, Kenny Tete was injured. But um, other than that, he hasn't really played much. Uh, doesn't really have a place in his first team. We do beat uh, Hamburg 2-0 away from home with uh, Johannes Geis and Kevin Volland getting the goals here. And we're so close to getting these players up to the next level here. But unfortunately, they still have to train a little bit harder uh, to obviously go up that one uh, overall rating. So that'd be interesting to see here. And a very interesting one here. Uh, one I could actually probably see happening in real life. Uh, Maximilian Meyer, subject of a £20 million bid off Chelsea. We do reject, uh, count that to £50 million, but Chelsea do come back saying they do not want to pay that price for the likes of Maximilian Meyer. Very, very understandable. He remains a Schalke player. And next game we do play, we do actually beat Dusseldorf 2-0. Emre Chan and Michi Batshuayi gets his first goal of the season there in the 2-0 win. And that's nine points out of a possible nine points in the opening three games. We are looking very, very good uh, for our title defence so far this season. It's the perfect start for us. I'm over the moon. Um, and I didn't expect no less from this team. 
As you can see, your transfer deadline day, Toulouse coming in for Enray Chan. Uh, 13 million, good offer, but we do reject that. And 8.5 million pound offer for Marco Hoga, which again, we do reject. Uh, Hoga, very unhappy. We'll probably look to get him along in the uh, next transfer window. But guys, I'm going to leave you looking at a squad report. Put in the comment section down below what you think we'll achieve this season and where you think we'll finish in the league. Will we win the domestic cup? Will we win the Champions League? Or will we get knocked out and win Europa League again? Let me know in the comment section down below how good you think this team is and what potential you can see in it. Hit that like button if you are new around here, guys. Um, I very much appreciate it. It only takes a couple seconds out of the day. And also hit that subscribe button too. Uh, that would mean the world to me and it helps the channel grow. As always, I hope you have a really nice day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.